In their last outing, Auckland City put five past Canterbury in the first 45 minutes. Go Tasman! So they travelled to Nelson's Trafalgar Park in buoyant mood to play their final fixture before heading to Tahiti for the OFC Champions League. Tasman have been sitting in mid-table in recent weeks and needed points to keep in touch with fourth place as they tried to secure a playoff spot for the first time. Auckland City dominated possession early. A Clayton Lewis free kick needed someone to attack the ball, but in the end was easy for Nick Stanton. This was a match with plenty of aggression. Jean-Philippe Psycho went into the referee's notebook for his studs-up slide tackle on Mario Illich. Albert Riera has been working his way back to full fitness, and he was given a start by Jose Figuera for this match. His side volley from outside the box flew just over Stanton's crossbar. City were getting closer, although close was not a word to describe Brian Kaltak's attempt after Riera had played him in. Tasman were feeding off scraps with just Psycho up front. It was to be an afternoon of hard work for the new Caledonian international. Two of Auckland City's recent signings then combined, with Tom Doyle finding Emiliano Tade with his cross. Unfortunately for City, Tade's header bent just wide. It was Doyle and Tade again moments later. This time Tade delivered the cross from the corner, Doyle with the acrobatic overhead. Tasman were defending valiantly, and five minutes before the break had a chance to push players forward for a free kick. Fox Slotmaker was the most committed in attacking the ball and was rewarded with a goal past Connor Tracy. This was a brave header by the centre back, and Tasman had the lead. Moments later, that lead evaporated. Lewis Benton across from White on the right, and this time it was Tom Doyle that threw himself at the ball to head past Stanton. One all at the break, and it was time for the Nelson Disabled Football Team to have a run on the Trafalgar Park surface and provide some half-time entertainment to the crowd. Into the second half, and Golden Boot leader Maya Bevan had the ball in the back of the net, only to be called back by the assistant referee for offside. A Tasman corner then set off a good old-fashioned melee in the Auckland City box. City players showing some great commitment to block the shots with Tracy pulling off a fine save. City were controlling the play, allowing Jordan Vale to get forward. His subtle pass almost gave Bevan his 15th goal of the season, but again Stanton did enough to keep his goal intact. Jess Randall has been putting together some impressive performances this season down the left flank with his hard running and pace. Unfortunately for him, his shot deflected straight at Tracy. Emiliano Tare loves to try the unorthodox. His quickly taken free kick sent Bevan away. But again, Stanton was quickly off his line, the slot maker on hand to tidy up. City then put together one of the best moves of the afternoon, a smooth passing combination that had Bevan one-on-one -on -one with Stanton. The keeper again came out and smothered well. The Navy Blues were pushing players forward to try and break the deadlock. Bevan had another chance from a ball looped over the defence by Mario Illich. Again, it was the keeper that made himself big. No sign of an offside flag either. Tare has already scored goals since returning to the Premiership and he created enough space to get his shot away. But Stanton was well positioned. He went even closer with a free kick a short time later. This time Stanton's save was excellent, with the ball heading right into the top corner. Randall and Psycho have combined to good effect for Jess Ebram this season, and this combination almost put the home side in the lead. But it was a skewed effort by Randall. And then the moment Tasman were hoping for. Deep into time added on. They launched the quick counter-attack that City should have done better dealing with. A lovely ball across the six-yard box 
gave Psycho a deserved goal for all his hard work up front, and a huge upset was on the cards. One final opportunity for substitute Logan Rogerson, but Tasman were not to be denied. Auckland City's unbeaten run comes to an end at the hands of a gritty, persistent Tasman team. The Auckland side is still in the box seat to take out the Premiership, but this will certainly give Tasman added impetus in the playoff hunt. Yeah, incredible game. Absolutely incredible. Emotions were unbelievable throughout the whole game. Um, yeah, we, we are so ecstatic. We are so ecstatic. It's unbelievable. Um, obviously, Auckland City are the best team in the country. They have been for a number of years. We knew it was going to be tough. We just wanted to stay in the game as long as we possibly could. Um, and you know we, you know we've got fortune to get our get a goal right near the end. But you know what? I'll take it. That's fine.